Well, there is some good news that is coming out of today's record breaking numbers. More people are seeking out a COVID-19 test than ever before. We've seen this before when we had our surge earlier this summer. Um, it seems like it's kind of a wake up call to people when they're their neighborhood and their community becomes a real hot spot. The state recorded more than 1400 new COVID-19 cases on Friday, but also more than 10,000 new tests administered. The state health department believes the latest surge is being driven mostly by younger people who aren't strictly following health guidelines. To that end, the health department launched this public awareness campaign targeting young people, warning that failure to follow the guidelines of physical distancing, good hygiene and face coverings has consequences. It was done with input from teens and young adults. Um, we're using TikTok, Snapchat, a bunch of different social platforms that young people are predominantly on to try to help educate them about the behaviors that can keep themselves safe and can keep them in school on campus not doing classes in their parents' basement again like they had to do earlier this year. They Meanwhile, one of the state's largest health care systems announced a big change to how it does COVID-19 testing. Uh, we're going to be going on Monday to an appointment-only structure. University of Utah Health says it's seen long lines of cars at all its clinics as people wait to get a COVID-19 test. That's caused big traffic jams, and some people don't even qualify for one. Not only are they scared, not only are they anxious, but they've been sitting in their cars for several hours. The U processes up to 1,700 tests a day. It takes less than a minute to do one. The university insists it will not be cutting testing capacity, but shifting to appointment only won't waste anyone's time. The governor last week announced he wants to expand testing so anyone who wants one can get one, but the health care providers haven't been able to make it happen yet. We're um, in active conversations this week and next week uh, with our partners to do our very best to try to deliver on that promise. Now, two of Utah's largest health care providers, University Health and Intermountain Healthcare, have announced they intend to move toward rapid saliva based testing that is less painful than the nasal swab people typically get. Live on the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.